What's good, family? I am. Today is the 14th. Let me get this camera. There we go. Should have sat there. I'm on the freeway. Today is the uh, 2 14 um, 2019. And I am headed to Jupiter for the uh, men's prayer group for JH Outback. They have two different. Um, well, they actually have four different prayer groups. I think it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I only go to the Thursday and the Saturday. Uh, this one's a little out the way, about 45 minutes, but I feel led to go to this one, and then the one on the Sabbath I go to early in the morning. But um, didn't go to them during my fast, didn't feel led to go to them during my fast. Um, um, spiritually, I feel like the guys pull a lot from me. Some of them do. There's some seasons and guys, and there's some guys, new converts. It's a good mixture of, of guys, in, 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 uh, especially the Saturday one. So I didn't really feel that I could go to the um, prayer groups during my 40-day uh, first fruits fast. So today um, is the first one outside of the uh, fast. So I'm headed back to Jupiter for the for, um, for the men's prayer group. Um, like I shared before the fast, when I started coming to this prayer group, it is a blessing because um, uh, when I was in Ohio, when I was growing up as a young Christian for Christ, there was different um, groups and prayer groups that I went to just to, just to build myself up in a faith. Um, I remember one at Tried Stone in Columbus, Ohio. People in Columbus, Ohio know what I'm talking about. Um, they had a, a, a morning glory um, prayer group um, on Wednesdays. You know, I didn't I didn't belong to the church. I had heard about it and I said, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the sacrifice and get up and go to that. Cause I didn't have to go to work um, like most people do. That's why they generally have them early so people who have to go to work can come to them and then in turn go to work right after the prayer group. But um, that's why it's a sacrifice for me because, you know, I get up just for the prayer group. Well, it, it, was, it seemed like a sacrifice then, but honestly, <laughs> when you ain't got to go to work, it ain't no big deal. Because uh, you can just go back home and get in the bed. Take exit 87A onto Florida 706 East toward Jupiter. But um, it's a blessing. You know, I love I love um, anything that I can do to better cultivate my relationship with Jesus Christ, I'm going to do. And I've told myself as I get older, I don't want to fall off of things. I don't want to... It's like being in a relationship with a woman, me being a man, obviously. Um, if you started out in a relationship with you was dating her, opening the doors and opening, you know, being a gentleman, as the relationship progresses, you don't want to stop doing those things that you did to show your affection and your love for that woman. So as it is with the Lord, um, as I grow in my faith and as I age and mature, I don't want to stop doing the things. I want to perfect the things that God had called me to do or I was doing in the beginning to help, you know, show my devotion to him. And it's really important because I've seen people through the years fall off. And like I said, if you're in a relationship with a woman and um, you stop doing those things, it would kind of, you know, show that you don't feel the same way you once did or you don't, you did it for reasons just to um, get in her favor. Use the right two lanes to take exit 87A onto Florida 706 East toward Jupiter. Once you're in her favor, you felt like, well, I don't have to do that no more because, you know, I'm with you now. But that's not how we do people. We shouldn't do people. That's definitely how we shouldn't do the Lord. So that was my motives and reasoning about when I heard about this one. When I heard about this prayer group in general, because it's like about 40, whoa, 45 minutes to an hour away from where I'm at. So. I have to get up like, kind of extra early to get here, which is cool. Like I said, you know, I don't have to go to work on full-time ministry. Um, and I'm believing God for some for some things. Stay in your lane, buddy. Stay in your lane. I'm believing God for some uh, some mighty things this year. You know, a lot of people say, well, this year's already started. Oh, yes and no. Like I said, I just came out of my fast, so... Spent 40 days in consecration. Um, 
I haven't done much of anything yet this year. Started 1-1-19, all the way to 2-9. That was 40 days, days, not nights. And, um, you know, coming out of the shell. <coughs> coming out of the shell, starting to do things and, and get around and get back to these routines. Good to be out, but I'm, I'm I'm not gonna stay out here long. Um, I just wanted to share that little piece. Um, just getting back to my routines, and I try to I do these things also to encourage people. So often I get the question, you know, how do I get? How do I do? All these different things concerning the Lord. You got to get out the box, man. You gotta you gotta shake up your routine. You gotta um, you know you gotta do some things. Uh, Obviously, doing the same things, expecting different results, won't work. So you have to do things different and sometimes to get the results you want. Led by the Holy Spirit, Spirit of course, you don't want to do nothing crazy, obviously. And you want to do things that's going to bear fruit. You don't want to just make up some stuff and do it. Get in the Word and pray and fast and seek God concerning the things you're supposed to do. Because if I didn't feel like this is what the Lord wanted me to do, I would not be doing it. That's another area where I had to be mature in and doing full-time ministry because people are always trying to pull me to the left and right. Hey, man, come do this. Hey, man, come do that. I'm like, dude, i got to go where the Holy Spirit leads me. I can't just come and do what you want me to do because you want me to do it. Now, I understand that people are passionate about what God gave them to do, and you should be. You should be passionate about what God gave you to do. But at the same time, I have to do what the Holy Spirit is leading me to do because that's how I show my obedience to Him simply obeying and doing what he told me to do. Can't just make up stuff to do and do what I want. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to get off of here. I just wanted to share that. See, the sun is about to come up. Up here in Jupiter, Florida, it's about 6.48. Been on the road roughly an hour. Um, the, um, what was I going to say? The, oh, yeah, the group started at 7 o'clock, so, I mean, I'm going to have to calibrate my time and get up a little earlier. I was a little slow getting out, but, um, I try to be a little early. I don't like being on time. But anyway, you guys pray for me and I pray for you and I pray that everything in the process that you're living for Jesus Christ is going the way you desire to go. Talk to you in a minute.